Hey there, welcome to this demo video. In this demo video, I'm gonna show you how to use Interactor to create an interactive video project. I'm also gonna show you all the different interactive elements you can create in a video with Interactor. And I'm gonna do this by showing you how we created our Interactor sales video. So let's dive in and get started. You'll see the screen right now. This is the screen that you'll see when you first log in to the Interactor app. Now there's three choices here. If you purchased one of the upgrades, then you'll have the Interactor Club templates along the bottom. If not, you have either a blank template or one of these other templates across the top. Now how the templates work, if I select, you can click preview to preview one of the projects so you know exactly what it does. If I select the basic pattern interrupt interactive video, I'll call this one demo test. I'm gonna click on create then it automatically builds out a basic pattern interrupt interactive video project for you. Everything's already done. The buttons, the interaction elements, all that's pre-done. Now, all you have to do then is change out these videos for your own videos. How you do that is simple. You click on these three dots in the media library, click on replace video, and either copy your URL here or just add a video from your computer and it changes this video that's in the interactive video project to your video. So you can quickly and easily create interactive videos in no time at all. Now for our demo, I'm gonna show you how to create an interactive video from scratch. Okay, so I would click on new project, but I'm just gonna edit this one I made earlier. This is what a blank project looks like. I've just added in these videos into the media library for time's sake. But let me show you how quick and easy it is to add a video. Let's use YouTube as an example. So I'm gonna head over to YouTube on the YouTube homepage and we'll use this uh, shark video over here. And I'm just gonna copy this URL. I'm gonna paste it down here in the Interactor app. Click on add. And in no time at all, it adds that video to the media library. From there, we can just drag this video over and start creating our interactive video project you know, quickly and easily. Now, of course, for the front end interactive video, we don't need this shark clip. We need these four videos. So let me show you how this works. First, I'm gonna drag these videos over into the canvas. The canvas is this big area where you can see your interactive video project from you know, like the 30,000 foot um, level. Now, as you saw on our uh, video at the top, we had the intro video, and then you could choose either cat, goldfish, or dog. So let me show you how this works. You can see the legend on the bottom left. There's two um, video paths that you can create. There's one video path that's green, like so. The other video path is blue. Now, let me show you what the difference is. The green video path is a menu path. So let's say that we had a quick intro and then this cat video was a menu video where people could select their, uh, you know, the journey they go through or the content they see. And then we'd have these two videos would maybe be the content they can choose from. You have the green selector path to go to a menu. Now in our interactive video for the sales video, we didn't have a menu because we had the menu come in at the end of the intro video. So we don't need that for this one. What we do need to do is create video paths. So let me show you how to do that. To create any interactive element on any of these videos, all you do is double click on a video. So I'm gonna use the intro video. I'm gonna double click. And what this will do is it takes me to the video timeline. Here, we can see the timeline of our video. We can get rid of this media library to give us some more space and our interactive video elements are across the top. So let me show you how this actually works. All we would do is select on the timeline where the uh, interactive elements want to come in. So I'm just gonna play and pause that. So this is where we wanna add in our interactive elements over cat, dog, and goldfish. So we've done that over here. Now let me show you how it actually works. The first one, I'm gonna use a hotspot. A hotspot is basically an invisible button. So you can make any part of your interactive video clickable. So I'm gonna drag the hotspot over to cat. Now I'm just gonna reposition this over here and you'll see it's added that hotspot interactive element to the timeline. Now on the left, we choose the behavior. We can also edit how 
the hotspot or the button or the text or anything across the top looks in this panel. So it says on click, we can play a node. A node is the name of a video on the canvas. We can open a URL, skip to a certain time or open a pop-up. I'm just gonna play a node. And of course I wanna play the cat video. Okay, let's do the same for dog. So I'm gonna drag this hotspot over and I'm just gonna position this down here. And on click, I want it to play the dog video. And finally, for uh, goldfish, let me uh, hover over here. And I want this one to play the goldfish video. Okay, and that's done. That's how hotspots work. Now, if I go back to the canvas, you'll see that it's built out those video paths over here. Okay, from the intro video. So each button goes to each one of these videos. Nice and simple, nice and easy. So let's go back into this uh, project so I can show you these other elements. Before I do, let's just preview this, what we just created so you can see that it works. So I'm gonna head over to Node Actions. I'm gonna click on Preview Node. It opens this preview project window in the center. Now what I'm gonna do is when we play this project, I'm gonna select dog and we'll see that uh, it works flawlessly and it plays through to the dog video through the hotspot that we just created. So I'm gonna hit play. Hey, it's Ryan from Video Suite with a super important, urgent question for you. Are you a cat person or a dog person? So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna select dog. So you're a dog person, great. Studies show that people that, and it plays the dog video. Okay, that's how hotspots work. Buttons are the same as hotspots, but buttons are actually, uh, you know, physical elements that go on the video, not invisible elements. And of course you can change the color, the text, the size, the, the, the look, all on this left panel. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this because we don't need it. Uh, text, again, self-explanatory, we can add text to the video. I'll delete that because we don't need it. Email. Now, there's two types of ways you can capture emails, or if you want to, you can select where someone has to enter an email to watch the rest of the video. So I'm just going to drag the email element down here, and you'll see it creates this, uh, you know, email uh, opt-in form. And we can change the size, we can change the color of the button. Uh, you know, we could add text to the top of it if we wanted. We can do all of that cool stuff down here. It integrates with all of the uh, main autoresponders. We also can uh, add in custom HTML, images if we wanna add an image. Let's say that um, we'll just hover over here to where it goes to, you know, where the, it's, it's a darker background. Okay, so if I wanted to add a image, I'll just drag an image over here and I can just copy and, uh, copy and paste the code of the image or what I can do is search our image library. So let's say I wanted this tell me more um, button. I just click on it and it adds it over here. Okay, so there's some cool templates, some cool button templates that you can use in the image library that you can use for interactive videos. Again, we don't need that, so I'm gonna delete it. And finally, there's pop-ups. Now, pop-ups are really cool because it means instead of uh, you know messing around and uh, you know creating text and emails and buttons and images to make uh, you know an interaction layer look really cool, you can just use the pre-built pop-up that we've created if you upgraded and a part of the club. So I'm gonna head over to pop up. So I'm gonna click on new pop up so we can see what it looks like. So this is what the pop up is. It's a blank canvas. Now, if you click on choose template, you can see over here, here are a few templates that you get to start with if you uh, upgrade to the club. Now, if you don't upgrade to the club, that's okay. You can still create and model these templates because we created these templates on this actual editor and just save them. Okay, so you can completely recreate all of these. Let's take a look at some of them. Here's our email template. Like we said, we can choose to allow people to skip this part, to continue watching the video, or we can make it mandatory that they enter their email. And of course you can edit the text, you can edit the button, the button color. We can change all of that stuff. Here's a coupon template right here that you can see. Here's a, uh, a button template. We've got an e-com template. Okay, and you can change the colors, the text, we can change all of it to look how you want it to. Okay, and again, we don't need a pop-up, but I just wanted to show you how that worked. Okay, and that's how we add in these interactive elements to our interactive video. 
Now there's a few more things that you want to take a look at. If we go back to the canvas, we've just explained how the canvas works and how the timeline editor works, but there's a couple more options across the top, settings, stats, and publishing. Now in settings, this is where we kind of uh, set the overall settings for our project. We can also add a Facebook pixel code down here so we can retarget people that go down a certain path in your interactive video and not another, which is a very powerful advanced feature that you can use. Now, one thing that I do want to show you is the chapters. Now, check this out. If I go back to the canvas, let's say that I delete all of these uh, elements because I don't want to spend the time to create, uh, you know, the, the video paths and the interactive elements. Let's say I chuck this video on here as well. What we can do is make an interactive video in like 10 seconds. And how we do that is we select chapters. So we've just put these videos on the canvas. There's no real order, but if we head over to settings and we enable chapters over here, I'm just gonna click on save changes. What that does is it allows us to have this little menu bar in the top corner, and then we can uh, people can select the content that they view. For example, you probably saw a, a review video and a demo video by one of our trusted joint venture partners um, before you came over to this actual Interactor sales page. Now, what you could do is, let's say this is our intro video, and in the intro video, let's say that I say, um, I point to the menu in the corner, and I say, um, if you wanna have a look at the demo, if you wanna have a look at what our thoughts of this are, if you wanna have a look at the OTOs, uh, just click on each menu icon, you'll go straight to that part of the video. We can do that dead easy because we just clicked enable chapters. If I just preview this project, you'll see the little menu on the right hand side in the corner and be, they'll be able to skip through each video quickly and easily. And again, without having to, to create the video path. So I'm gonna click on play. Hey, it's Ryan from Video Suite with so a super important over here. urgent question for you. Okay, that's the shark video. If we go to let's say the cat video, Ah, knew it. Did you know that it plays the people are known to be significantly the smarter goldfish one? than average? Way to vote outside the box. It plays you the goldfish video. Create. So that's a real quick and easy way to create an interactive video or a content video or a review video by making a quick 10 second intro and then having all the rest of the parts of the video to be in the menu icon by enabling chapters. Okay, it's a really cool, uh, quick and easy way to create an interactive video. Of course, then we have our analytics and our stats. Now, over here on analytics, we have our basic analytics at the top, which you get on the basic version. If you got the commercial version, you get the advanced analytics, which is all the stuff underneath. So we have our project views, the percentage of people that interacted, the conversion rate, and the total revenue, plus the total revenue per view. And if we scroll down, we get more detailed breakdowns. Of course, there's no stats on here right now, because we've not got this video live, but this is the video retention rate. We've got the uh, project views breakdown by device. Is it gonna be mobile? Is it gonna be uh, a desktop? What browser? What part of the world? We've got the interaction breakdown. So what element do they click to go through? Maybe there's one more than the other, so you'd wanna change your video to increase conversions. Of course, we have the conversions breakdown and the revenue breakdown underneath, okay? Then finally, we have the publishing and the sharing page. Now what this does is allows us to have a share page so we can share this anywhere quickly and easily. We don't have to embed it on a website. We can just click that link and share this embed video. It looks nice and clean with anybody that we want to. And also, this is where we copy our Interactor embed code and we can publish anywhere on any website. Okay, now the cool thing is if you have your interactive video on let's say three websites, we can just come back into the canvas. We can edit the video as we wish, how we want, go back to publishing and sharing, republish the, the code, and it automatically changes across all of the uh, web pages that you have the video on. There's no going back in and copying code. All you have to do is republish from inside of our app. And your interactive videos do play flawlessly across all browsers and all devices, whether it's a laptop, an iPad, or a mobile phone. Okay guys, and that's how Interactor works. Hope you enjoyed this demo and we look forward to seeing you on the inside.